intonation is he wearing? Is that loaded Lux? Big E? What the fuck is this? This is Sparta! Big E? God damn, Tyson Fury's wife is fine. Shit! Deontay Wilder's fiance fine too? Fuck you, bitch. No, fuck you, bitch! From the state where you lose your virginity to your sister. The British are coming. Yeah. Round one. Fight! Come here! Let him go! Round two, fight! Oh my god. Falcone punch! Fuck you, bitch! Hey, let me tell you something, alright? Let me tell you something. I almost broke my elbow back there, but we ain't talking about that right now. One way or another, did you see this past weekend? Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder, one of the best heavyweight title fights in quite some time. For rounds one and two, they exchanged W's, exchanging rights and lefts, left and right. But let me first and foremost say this. Uh, I don't know who cut. Deontay Wilder shorts, but that brother out there wearing a kilt slash skirt slash shorts. I don't know what the hell this man's plan was stepping into the ring, okay? It looked like he came to box, but make it fashion. What was you doing, bruh? Who made your shorts? And as for Tyson Fury, what was going on with that back fat? My God. Brother didn't even have love handles. Brother had love doors back there. I'm pretty sure Harlots down in Miami looking to inject the back fat that this brother had into their buttocks so they can use it as a Brazilian butt lift. There's people in the DR right now trying to see if they can get a hold of this brother back fat. Get back in the gym, brother. What is going on? Round three, fight. Falcon. Punch! Gotcha, bitch. Midway through the third round, Tyson Fury put Deontay Wilder on the ground. And let's be honest here, had there been an additional minute in that third round, Deontay Wilder probably would have went to sleep. That man did not have any legs after this particular point at all. Come here. No, don't do it. Oh, no! Just look at his legs. Had him looking like a newborn flamingo trying to walk on an oil slick. Oh, I missed. Jesus Christ. Time. Jesus. Brother could not keep his balance whatsoever. <laughs> Into round four we went. Round four. Fight. Falcon. Punch. Nani? Hit him with the Uno reverse card. Everybody thought Tyson Fury was about to end Deontay Wilder's days, but oh no. He put that brother down twice. What did he say? My leg. Had him looking like he ate too much fish and chips during high tea. He was on his backside twice in the exact same round. The first time Fury has ever suffered that in his entire career. Help! Help! Police! Just look at his face while he was laying on the floor. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. I cannot believe it. Over the course of the next five rounds, not only did Tyson Fury outbox Deontay Wilder strategically, this man dominated Wilder. Why? Because every single time he kept hugging up on him, trying to hit him with a doggone DDT, hooking his head, putting all that extra weight on top of Deontay Wilder's head. I'm telling you right now, last weekend Alabama lost to Texas A&M and it looked like Tuscaloosa took another L because Deontay Wilder was in there getting all of his goddamn head, getting pushed down by the weight of the motherfucking British. Let him go! Let him go! Let me go, let me go, let me go, please. Come here. You're too heavy. My neck. He's going for the DDT. You like that weight, don't you? Look at all that back fat. I don't know what was under more pressure. Deontay Wilder underneath the weight of Tyson Fury or a fart trapped in the gluteal cleft of Lizzo. Deontay Wilder's fiance trying to call the trainer to give him a sinzu bean. You're a fat bitch, you are. My hand. Two piece extra crispy. Ah, fuck my hand. <laughs> I'll DDT you right here, lad. Oh my god. Get your big ass up out of here, bitch. He was taking more hands than an appendage in a circle jerk, catching more fists than kink.com, had less defenses than the Japanese airspace during motherfucking World War II. Mans did not have a chance to defend himself. Between rounds 5 and 10, Deontay Wilder had absolutely no legs. This man was battling for his life in order to stay up. Had him looking like a pseudo-woodo. Brother was in there looking like a motherfucking bell sprout, trying to stay up. You could tell he had the spaghetti legs, linguine legs. Okay, this man could not stand on his own two feet. But then Tyson Fury, somehow this man's level of endurance was going the entire time. I guess it must have been the power of that back fat. Kept him standing up straight. His posture never wavered whatsoever. His spine immaculate. 
immaculate. Deontay Wilder, I cannot say the same. To this day, he was struggling to stand up. And now a word from our sponsors. Wait a minute, you looking for some deals? Of course you are. Let me introduce you to Fetch Rewards. Fetch Rewards is a super easy to use free app where you can earn free rewards on literally anything you buy. Scan any receipt or e-receipt and you'll earn points no matter what you buy or where you shop. You then redeem those points for hundreds of rewards including Amazon and Visa gift cards. It's got me rummaging through all of my files to grab as many receipts as I possibly can. I'm digging for receipts as if I'm digging for oil. No way I'm about to miss out on these rewards. You mean to tell me all I gotta do is take a photo of a receipt or I gotta link my email or Amazon account and I can get rewards for absolutely nothing? If this isn't a deal, I don't know what is. So do yourself a favor and click the link in my description. Use promo code CHISELED and you'll get 3,000 points when you scan your very first receipt. Keep in mind, this is a limited time offer so you don't want to miss out. Click the link in my description, download the Fetch app and use promo code chiseled. You're going to get 3,000 points when you scan your very first receipt. Become receipt rich today. The Fetch way. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. What's the matter? <laughs> You're the one who started this game. And now you don't want to play anymore? Look at Deontay Wilder's face. Looking like he had an allergic reaction to Tyson Fury's gloves. What is that? Oh, shit. Shit, what is that? He went down for the third time in this doggone fight. And at this point, moving forward, he was operating on borrowed time because it was only a matter of time. This man, Tyson Fury, done turned into Thanos the correct way and said, I'm inevitable. And slow and behold, that time messed around and it showed up real quick. Oh, if you thought you were clutching your jewelry before, just wait until this round, darling. It's over. Oh, shit, Fury's wife got the shiring gone. Final round. Fight. Jesus! <laughs> Fuck! Wilder was getting whipped like a Caribbean child who came home with poor missing homework on their report card. He was getting his ass whipped. I got an uppercut. I got an uppercut. Don't do it. Oh, mother of God! I got an uppercut. Somebody stop this! Finish him. Now die! Ooh, oh! Ooh, oh! Oh Lord, look at this man laying on the floor like Yamcha after a Cyberman done blew him up. Laying on the floor in the fetal position. No! Looking like he sacrificed himself in the military jumping on top of a grenade to save his brethren. This man look like he's dead. Somebody may have had to touch him with a Max Revive. They probably had to slip a Sinzu Bean into his mouth to bring him back to life. Cause that brother on the floor laying dead. Come here. Knock the fuck out. This trilogy is now over. There's no need to have a fourth fight. We've seen back-to-back -back fights in which Deontay Wilder got absolutely outclassed. And you can argue on behalf of Fury winning the first fight. So as far as I'm concerned, this whole chapter is finished. And for Deontay Wilder, I don't know how you recover from this, brother. I don't know who you're going to fight. Maybe you can fight against Anthony Joshua, the fallen champions. Who gets to restore their honor to lose to whoever's holding the title now? I don't know who Deontay Wilder can fight next, but it's looking like your career done, brother. I don't know what's going on. But then you had the audacity, the temerity, unmitigated goal to sit there on the stool. Rather than accept defeat, you said to Tyson Fury. What is Tyson Fury Rodney Dangerfield? No respect, he gets no respect at all from you. Are you kidding me? My man, you just got your ass knocked out. You got TKO'd in the previous fight, and you can't even give this man respect for what transpired. You gotta be out your mind, bro. You gotta be out your mind. Why can you not accept defeat? You complained your way to getting a rematch for the third time. Well, second time because the first time wasn't necessarily a rematch, but nevertheless, you lost this damn fight, got your ass knocked out, put to sleep, and you can't even accept your L? You gotta be kidding me, bro. Alabama took two L's this past weekend. Tyson Fury done knocked out Deontay Wilder in front of his daughter, in front of his women, in front of his people, in front of his goddamn family. Put his ass to sleep. It's over, bro. Take Deontay Wilder's character straight out of fight night. No matter what boxing game they make, make sure you put next to Deontay Wilder in parentheses, Tyson Fury's bitch. Man's got his ass whipped. 
You got your ass whipped. I want a rematch. I want Deontay Wilder vs. Tyson Fury 4. For what, son? Nobody want to see that shit. It's over. He got his ass whipped, and the British is holding on to the heavyweight title. Go home, Deontay Wilder. Go home, but before you do, take out your Metro card and get aboard the L train and consider your heavyweight career written down to the death note because your dreams of becoming champion once again has been absolutely deleted. You got your ass whipped, brother. You got your ass whipped. This is where you will die. <laughs> When death is entreated, the battle is decided. Farewell. You lose. Failure.